This film will show you what to expect if you are having a transesophageal echocardiogram, often called a TOE. My name is Dave, I'm 31, and I am an IT support analyst. I've come for a TOE uh, as I'm frequently short on breath and I have chest pains. I thought that I was just unfit, and that I needed to go to the gym, get some hours, get some time in the gym. A little bit nervous. I'm Dr Raj Sharma, consultant cardiologist at St George's Hospital, and I'm also the director of a cardiac or heart ultrasound. An echocardiogram uses the principle of ultrasound to take a picture of the heart. In a much smaller number of people, they have to swallow a probe with the ultrasound transducer attached, so we can look at structures at the back of the heart, which cannot be as easily seen with a conventional uh, scan. We start by giving a local anaesthetic spray, which the patient does find a bit uncomfortable. After this, we do give an uh, injection of a sedative uh, to calm the patient down and to make them feel a bit more sleepy. I then talk to the patient as I put the probe down because he's still relatively awake. Close, close your eyes and I'll talk you through it, okay? Mm -hmm. right, this is just my finger. This is just to direct me. All right, it's now in the right position. At the point that I ask him to swallow, you can see the probe coming down and I can see the picture appear on the machine. Okay, the probe's gone in, David. I can see your heart as we speak now, all right? So these pictures uh, allow me to see the back of the heart in great detail. And in particular, I can see the structure that I was concerned about. And I would not be able to see uh, exactly how big this hole was and also exactly where it was with, without doing the transesophageal echo. Okay, look, David, I can see the hole already, okay? And I'm just gonna take a look at that bit first. The procedure itself, once the probe goes in, usually takes no more than five to 10 minutes. The benefits are huge in that you can define what the problem is and plan further management. For the patient, they should not eat or drink four hours before the test. Well done. All right, okay. we'll sit you right up now. If you sit him right up. Afterwards, the throat will feel sore for three to four hours, um, but you can eat and drink after two hours, and, and then there really are no long-lasting effects at all. The actual procedure was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. The prep and the spray, not so good. And the probe coming out wasn't pleasant, but... It, it wasn't painful. The result was as I expected. And they suggested there was a hole in the heart so it's not come as a, um, something completely out of the blue. It's um, unfortunate, it's something I deal with and it's good to get the confirmation. Heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time, and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>